In this video, I'm going to tell you how growth hormone use can bias your kidney biomarkers on your blood tests such that a growth hormone user may not know the real status of their kidney function from their blood tests. But before I do, please subscribe to the channel, like the video if you haven't already, and comment on the video for the sake of the algorithm. Now let's get started. First of all, long-term listeners of the channel will know that I prefer to monitor my kidney function with three separate biomarkers. One is called creatinine, which is actually the standard biomarker that's used. The second is called cestatin C. And the third is called symmetric dimethyl arginine, or SDMA. Now, both creatinine and cestatin C can be used to estimate glomular filtration rates. Glomular filtration rates are basically how much fluid your kidney filters over time. Now, creatinine, unfortunately, as many of you know, is very much influenced by uh, age, by gender, and by protein consumption. Protein consumption is usually the most, uh, as well as muscle mass. Protein consumption and muscle mass are usually the most misleading elements of this, which is why I highly recommend, in particular to bodybuilders, to at least double check their kidney marker with CS statin C, which is not affected by protein consumption. Now in this video, I wanna tell you how growth hormone use affects two things. Number one, it affects your actual glomular filtration rate. Number two, it falsely, well in regard to your kidney health, alters your CS statin C levels. Let's talk first about the glomular filtration rate. Studies on acromegalic patients, which are the people that naturally have a growth hormone excess, show that they have a 15% increase in their glomular filtration rates. This is thought to be due to IGF-1's effect on renal vascular resistance, increasing glomular perfusion of the kidneys. So, Growth hormone use acutely increases the actual glomular filtration rate, not just the estimated one, by about 15% on average. Now this effect seems to be temporary. It rapidly diminishes following a treatment for acromegalic patients that inhibits their growth hormone secretion. In fact, it seems that because of this, it's unlikely that the increase in glomular filtration rate is due to actual hypertrophy of the kidneys, the kidneys getting larger, or that extracellular water retention that we often talk about with growth hormone users. So it's an acute effect. What does this mean? This means that when you do your blood tests while on growth hormone, you may see that your kidneys appear to be performing well, and your doctor may tell you, hey, your glomular filtration rate looks great for your size as muscle mass or whatever. But in reality, because you're using growth hormone, your glomular filtration rate could be about 15% less than what it appears to be. And therefore, the only way for you to actually know your real glomular filtration rate would be to discontinue growth hormone use for about a week to three weeks, and then do another blood test and see your actual glomular filtration rate without growth hormone use. That's the only way to know it. So in the future now, if you guys are using growth hormone, keep in mind that your glomular filtration using any metric will have been increased uh, falsely and will immediately decrease when you remove the growth hormone treatment, meaning that your kidneys will look like they're functioning worse once you remove the growth hormone treatment. Their real function will appear. The second note that I wanted to make regards C is statin C, the second biomarker that I commonly check for myself. Now, interestingly, C is statin C, while it's not affected by protein consumption and muscle mass and uh, gender and age as much, it is very much affected by insulin resistance and obesity. So although C statin C is a good um, proxy for kidney health, meaning that when it rises, your kidneys are performing worse, it's also a proxy for cardiovascular health and other things. So interestingly, it seems that with growth hormone use, C statin C falsely elevates in regard to the kidney. It elevates separately, independent of glomular filtration rates. So this is interesting. You're taking growth hormone, your actual glomular filtration rate increased temporarily, falsely, you know, falsely in regard to your actual health, and your CSNC also increases independent of the glomular filtration rate. You're, usually your CSNC would have decreased if your glomular filtration rate increased, but this is actually the opposite is happening. So basically to summarize, when you're on growth hormone treatment, your glomular filtration rate is falsely high and may make you think that your kidneys are doing better than they really are, and your and C level will also be a little bit falsely high. And it's thought that this probably happens due to the insulin resistance that comes with high IGF-1 signaling and growth hormone signaling with acromegalic patients. So it's probably due to the insulin resistance. It's probably informative. It probably tells you a little bit about your cardiovascular health, but don't rely on it to judge your kidney. It might scare you uh, a little bit too much, while the glomerular filtration rate might relax you a little bit too much. 
Anyway guys, I hope this was helpful for you. I don't think anyone else has ever discussed this before and hopefully it may be able to save some people's kidneys. Um, I would imagine that if you continue doing blood tests and seeing your, EG, your glomerular filtration rate higher than it really is, you would feel less pressure to be concerned about your kidney health, your blood pressure and so on. Anyway guys, I hope you found this informative and I'll see you next time.